Hello. Hello. I am Lucas from the Music Store and I will show you how to set up a beginner set with the Fame Maple Standard Set. This drum set consists of the shells 14-inch snare, 22 bass drum, 12-inch rack tom, 13-inch rack tom, 16-inch floor tom, hoops for the bass drum and a hoop protection for the bass drum. Furthermore, a complete set of heads a straight cymbal stand, a boom cymbal stand, hoops in 12 inch, 13 inch and 16 inch, small tuning rods, large tuning rods and bass drum claws. Three floor tom legs, the bass drum pedal, the hi-hat stand, the snare stand and a pair of tom holders. The cymbal set consists of a 20 inch ride, a 16 inch crash and a pair of 14 inch hi-hat cymbals. There is a pair of sticks, a tuning key, and the throne are included as well. When you order the set, it comes in these boxes. Everything you need additionally is a cutter. Please be careful when opening the boxes in order not to damage the instrument. The unpacked box can be used as work surface. I always turn the box upside down after unpacking it to get more stability. I am starting with the smallest tom. Please note that the hoops are attached to the shell when you first unpack the boxes. You have to remove them. You are starting with the tom head. Then the hoop and the tuning rods afterwards. The tuning rods should then be hand tied. The even tension stabilizes the tuning. Now you will tighten the rods. A little trick here. By putting your finger in the center of the head, you can see if there are still some wobbles in the head. You can reduce those by diagonally tightening the rods. To make sure you have the right tuning, Tap the drum at every tuning rod. If you have the same pitch at every rod, the drum is properly tuned. The same procedure is applied to the resonance head. There are different tuning methods. For beginners, I recommend tuning the resonance head to the same pitch as the batter head. This is how the completely tuned drum should sound. The other two toms are treated in the same way as the first. For the floor tom, however, you need to attach the floor tom legs. I will demonstrate this for you. I will turn the drum upside down and then attach the legs. The floor tom is ready. On to the bass drum. We will use the same procedure as before. First, I will put the batter head on the shell. The bass drum has different hoops. They are made from wood and not from steel. There are different tuning rods for this as well. The so-called bass drum claws. Then hat man auch nicht wie bei den anderen Kesseln üblich normale Spannschrauben. Sondern man hat hier sogenannte Bassdrum Clown. 
They are put on the hoop and the rods are attached to the thread. Just like the toms, I tighten the rods diagonally, so it's done in the exact same way. With this procedure, I can be sure to have the same tension at every tuning rod. Later on, the bass drum will be played with the bass drum pedal. It is attached to the hoop with a clamp. To protect the hoop, we will put the hoop protection on the inside of the hoop where the pedal is attached later. We will now put the resonance head on the bass drum. Make sure that the head is centered so that you can read the logo. You can use the tom holder for orientation purposes. Let's begin with the bass drum legs. I have already extended one leg so I can use the height as orientation. I will loosen the screw and extend the lower end of the leg. You can choose between spikes or rubber feet. And that's it for the bass drum. We will now look at the snare drum, the most complex instrument on the drum set. The snare drum has a tuning much different from the rest of the kit. Personally, I always start with the resonance head. For that, I am going to turn the shell around. Another specific feature of the snare drum is that the resonance head has a so-called snare wire. These are multiple soldered wires to provide the snare effect. It is important to tighten the rods for the wires. So a snare bed can be created. Don't let it put you off that the shell at the height of the wires is flat. This actually stands for quality. You should make sure that the wires can be removed easily and that they aren't too tight. If the throw-off is adjusted too tight, you can use this small wheel to loosen it. The batter head of the snare drum is tuned in the same way as the other shells. Just like the other drums, it is tuned diagonally with the same tension and pitch at every rod. Now we will look at the hardware. After putting the hats on all drums and tuning them, I no longer need the box as working surface. The snare drum stand. This one consists of two pieces. A bottom and here is the top. I loosen the screw and now I can adjust the angle of the snare drum. I will loosen the screw for the basket and put the snare in the basket.
But this screw, the snare drum shell is clamped into the basket. The snare drum is now ready. On to the bass drum pedal. It also comes in two pieces. There's the beater and the pedal itself. To attach the beater, I will use the tuning key and loosen the screw where the beater will be inserted. I am sliding the beater in and tighten the screw. The pedal is complete. Let's move on to the cymbal stands. In this set, we have two cymbal stands, a straight one and a boom stand. I will start with the straight stand. The straight stand consists of three pieces. The bottom with the legs, the middle part, and the top. Aside from that, the cymbal stands have so-called memory clamps. On one hand, they are used as fixation of the tubes, on the other hand, they are for orientation when you take the hardware apart and put it back together again. The setup of the boom cymbal stand is almost identical. We are starting with the bottom Then take the middle tube and then the top. You can extend the so-called boom by loosening this screw. After you've taken out the boom, you can set the angle with this screw. With this screw, you can reattach the boom. Ready! We are going to set up the Hyatt stand now. Just like the other stands, we will start with the bottom. First, we will unfold the legs. Followed by attaching the hi-hat pedal and the designated fixture. On to the upper rod. It is attached to transport the hi-hat symbols. We have to remove the hi-hat clutch. And simply screw the rod into the thread. Das wird einfach angeschraubt. Dann Moving on to the second part of the Hyatt stand. Der Hyatt Maschine. Hier wird später This is where the bottom symbol will be. Und zum And the last part, the Hyatt clutch. This is where the Hyatt top symbol will be attached. We are finished with the hi-hat stand. Now I will show you how to set up the throne. It comes in two pieces. I will start with the bottom. And here we have the top where you sit on. There is a winding thread in the center for a stepless adjustment of the seat height. Dass wir uns die gewünschte Sitzhöhe einstellen können und das stufenlos. The throne is complete. Nun fange ich an. I will now start with the tom mounts. Here I have a so-called tom arm and the tom mount on the bass drum. I will attach the tom arm in the tom mount. Thank you. 
Auch hier haben wir wieder We have the same system with the memory clamps. Memory clamps. As a reminder, they provide added stability and make it much easier to set the kit back up. Und immer die Gewissheit, wie der Set aufbaubar. So, now we will start attaching the toms. I will begin with the 12 inch tom. For this purpose, I will loosen the wing screw. Attach the shell. And do the same with the 13 inch tom. I now have the option to adjust the angles. The bass drum pedal comes in two pieces. Die Fußmaschine wird geliefert in zwei Teilen. Dann hat man zum einen den the beater und zum anderen and the pedal die itself. Um den to attach the beater, I will use the tuning key and loosen the screw where the beater will be inserted. An der beater I am sliding the beater in and tighten the screw. The pedal is complete. I will attach the pedal to the bass drum. As seen before, we have the hoop protection here. I will loosen the screw on the pedal and put it on the hoop. Dann ziehe ich die Schraube wieder Afterwards, I will tighten the screw to attach the pedal. Und schon steht die Fußmaschine. Hier stehe ich mit dem Here I have the boom symbol stand. I will put the right symbol on this stand. I always position this stand between floor tom, bass drum and the second rack tom. Please make sure that the chrome parts have no contact with each other or the shells. Nicht miteinander berühren. This would affect the sound. Sonst gibt es Einschränkungen im Sound. Dann werde ich I will now position the right symbol. Dazu löse ich die Remove the wing screw. Nehme das and take the top symbol felt off. Setze das Put the right symbol on the stand. Setze wieder the felt back on top. And tighten the wing screw. Und somit the right symbol is now set up. So, hier haben wir I will put the crash symbol on the straight symbol stand. Dort werde ich das crash becken positionieren. Das mache ich. The stand is positioned on the left side of the drums. Jetzt löse Remove the wing screw. And the top symbol felt. Put the crash on the stand. Auf den crash Put the felt back on top and tighten the screw. Und somit the crash symbol is ready. So, jetzt will ich I am going to place the snare drum now. As seen before, it is climbed into the snare stand. The drum is put on front of the first tom. Vor das erste Tom. Ist It is important that you have easy access to the throw-off. Das heißt, that means you shouldn't place it facing towards the Tom. Immer dran kommt. Nun werde ich die Now I'm going to attach the hi-hat symbols. First I'll remove the clutch und, and put the bottom hi-hat symbol on its place. Then I will remove this screw on the Hyatt clutch along with the bottom felt and place the Hyatt symbol in the clutch. Put the felt back on and tighten the screw. Place the symbol with the clutch on the rod so you can pull down the rod by using the pedal. You then tighten the screw. We are going to position the Hyatt stand left of the snare drum. Let's 
Finally, you just have to position the throw, and you are ready to go. Und man kann im Prinzip schon loslegen. Jetzt müsst ihr schauen, Make sure everything is easy to reach and that you are sitting comfortably. These settings are very individual, of course, and vary from drummer to drummer. You are ready to start playing now. Enjoy your new kit of Fame Maple Standard Drums.